So Pierre, here we're in the reception room of your OS, of your SBCA facility yeah. here in Valleyfield. We see some of these are kittens mostly, right? Yes, that's it. When you walk in, basically we have uh, these cages right here at reception so we can keep an eye on them. Mm -hmm. These are our cats that uh, are you mostly kittens all the time. And sometimes they're some a little bit older, but they're not sterilized yet. That's why we keep them in cages, of course. Um, yeah, I want to take that one home, but I've got two already. I can't. Because, yeah. you know, after two, they you officially become a little eccentric. Well, so. that's it. I mean, it depends on, you know, size of the home and how many people yeah. are going to take care of them. But, yeah, we, we always try to, you know, when we do an adoption, we always make sure there's a whole form to fill out. And mm -hmm. we can question people. We talk with them. And we want to find permanent homes. We don't want to, like, somebody to take a cat and then a month later either comes back here or ends up somewhere else. Yeah. It's important to us. It's, we'd rather do a few less adoptions, but they're good adoptions, you know? So, yeah, so all these cages, this is a little bit of a temporary setup for now because mm -hmm. we're going to do like uh, improved cages. Mm -hmm. um, here we have, this is the other part of our adoption when you come in. Yeah. This, we call this the aquarium because simply because of all the, the, the windows. Mm -hmm. So it's people laugh. Because and the cats are loose here. They're not in their cages. That's correct. This, we have anywhere between 15 cats to about 35 cats that are loose in this room at all mm -hmm. times. Um, these cats are all for adoption. These are all sterilized cats. Uh, socialized, everything, so people can actually walk in and, and interact with the animals. They get a be much better sense of how the animal is, if it's affectionate, if it, you know, that kind of stuff. In a cage, an animal never acts normal, but in an open area, this is like basically their home. It's like, a, you know, a large apartment. They have toys, they have beds, they have everything. So, you know, this is our, where we do our major uh, adoptions. I see the Royal Canin signs all over the place. It looks like you've got some corporate sponsorship here. Yeah, yeah, we have an agreement with Royal Canin there, and uh, with each adoption, we, we basically earn points that we can use to trade for food. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, as we do adoptions, we get free food for animals. Um, there is still a cost because it never covers everything, but that's it. We're trying to get, you know, corporate and, and big companies to be able to help us in, in this way. And what we can trade is basically, you know, advertise for them mm -hmm. and, you know. You, do you, you have a lot of employees here. I think you're over 10, right? Uh, well, we have 10 employees total. Okay. But we're open, like, I mean... To function here, it's 10 hours a day, seven days a week. Mm -hmm. So basically we have two shifts of five essentially. It, it overlaps, but we, we never have more than five people scheduled at one yeah. time here. Do you have a lot of volunteers? Uh, not that many, unfortunately. What, what happens with volunteers is, you know, a lot of people, they want to help, they come two or three times, and then they get busy, and, and they can't. And we understand people have lives these days. And but they, you're they, looking they for volunteers. All the time, yes. We, we need dog walkers, because yeah. uh, dogs that we have, we have, uh, you know, 20 to 30 dogs sometimes. We have to walk them three times a day, you know. Uh, we need people to help clean the cages. We need people when we do adoption clinics, and it's like a promotion these days. We need people at yeah. the malls and stuff to... to you know, uh, basically do the adoptions. So we always need people. Yeah. So, so, so the way that the SBCAs are working nowadays is a little different than the old days. Well, I mean, the the thing to, to remember is that every single SBCA is independent mm -hmm. in in financially and also in in uh, the the the. the I can say the, the not the rules, but the, the procedures and, and the adoptions, like everything is different. We all work for the same goal. We work mm -hmm. t together in some way, but you know, other SBCAs may euthanize a much higher rate or they may not really go out and do free adoptions, that kind of stuff. We're pretty much one of the only ones in the area that will actually do free adoptions. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit controversial on certain points because people are afraid that, you know, anybody's just going to come and get the animals and then give them away and that yeah. kind of stuff. But we're, we're very thorough with uh, our, you know, adoption process and when they're free, we are even more thorough because you know we want to weed yeah. out anybody that's just taking advantage of it and to try to resell the animal or something. Yeah. So, you know, but uh, no, that's it. I mean, there's a there's a change in mentality when it comes to to you know uh, the value of animals. It used to be just disposal, and and now it, it, you know people are realizing that they're more than objects. So, but it, it's there's still a ways to go. You know, we're still not yet at the point where we can just you know they're going to be where we'd like them to be. Now, you guys are also on social media. You have a Facebook page, yeah. and you guys have a website. So how do people find you guys on, on the well, net? Our website right now redirects to the Facebook page because mm -hmm. we didn't have enough staff to take care of both. Uh, that's it. If people go simply to uh, spcavalleyfield.com, it'll end up at our Facebook page, which is SPCA Valley Field on Facebook. And there we post the photos, like the pictures of our, our dogs, and uh, sometimes some cats, but uh, not... Uh, not all the cats, because we simply have too high of a volume. It would just be flooding it. Yeah. Um, and people can, can ask questions, and our hours are there. And that's, that's our main contact. 